Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about some experience that I've had recently um, at work. Um, we just wrapped up a project that was a really fast timeline. Um, it was really crazy the amount of work that needed to get done in a very short amount of time. Um, there's a lot of assets, there's a lot of building, there's a lot of people involved, there's a lot of things um, moving this train down the path. And I just, I, uh, uh, I've been in projects like that a bunch. Um, being in commercial, you just kind of are in projects like that a lot, um, where there's a lot required of you in a very short amount of time. So you have a few weeks um, to get something done that, that should take a lot longer than that. So you have to kind of hack and put pieces together and, and hope that things work. Um, I've been in tons of projects lately um, that have been rush, 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 and you're putting all these pieces together, but the project doesn't actually come together until the last like 24 hours. So you have all this stuff that needs to get done in a day at the end of the project, and you're literally just crossing your fingers and hoping it works, um, which is fine. I mean, you're expecting stuff like that, and you're putting things like that together. That, that comes with the territory. Um, but how many times have you been in the middle of a project and you see something that could be happening later on down the line that you're like, oh man, we need to address this right now. Um, this is what the topic is today. When to lead, when to follow. So when should you voice your concerns to start trying to, to push a project into a different spot um, because you think this is the way it should go? Or when is a good time for you just to, to keep those concerns to yourself and just follow the lead of the person that, that is taking this ship? Um, I, I've ran into this a lot because, you know, as creatives and stuff, we always try to find solutions, better creative solutions for the problem, right? So all of us are going to see it a little bit differently. Um, sometimes you'll be at the beginning stages of a project, you're supposed to build an asset, you're supposed to do these things to give to somebody else, and you're looking down the line and you're like, there's just no way this is gonna work out. And then all of a sudden it works out. You're like, I have no idea how that worked. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't see it the same way as they saw it. Um, I've had times where I've thought about these things and I've wanted to voice my concerns and say things and I don't. And then it comes down at the end of the project and I should have said something because they didn't see it the same way. And then when it got to the end, they're like, oh no, oh no, what are we going to do now? Um, so how do you address that? How do you, how do you know when to say something and when not to say something? Um, I think it all comes down to communication. You're going to see things a little bit differently than the higher ups, the people that are at the top of the project, because they're looking at it as a global, especially on bigger projects. They're looking at it as a, as a, as a whole, a big thing, right? They see where the project's going to go and when that project's supposed to get there and stuff. And you're working on a very minuscule scale, right? So you're right in on it. You're working on this little piece, this thing, you're doing this stuff. And, and you might see these little pieces and these things that could change the whole scope of the project because you're working on such a small scale, right? Um, so what I would do is that when you start seeing things like that, I would step up and I would say something to maybe your producer or say something to your AD or CD, whoever's leading the project. And, and I would do it in a, in, a, in a way that you sit down, you speak to them and you kind of see first where they're wanting to go with the project because maybe you're seeing it differently than the way they're seeing it, right? So I would sit down, I would communicate with them, ask them what they're seeing for that asset or that animation or that, that thing that you're supposed to be doing. Ask them what they're, what they're seeing for that. And if they have a clear vision, then what I would do is I would just make sure that you just do the things that they're asking you to do and just follow. But if they don't have a clear vision of what they're needing to get done, what I would do is I would step back and I would, I would start letting them know the concerns that you have about the little scale stuff that you're that you're seeing the things that could help change the project or things that that actually might help save the project at the end because oh no this thing might not work or might break or, or might not look the way that they're wanting it to look so you can address those concerns then right so then what you're doing is you're you're saying i respect you because you have this clear vision right i also want to give us the best product, the best opportunity to make something great. So you're stepping in and you're going, hey, these are the things that that I think that we might be able to do to make it better. Um, but that's 
that's how I would break that down. I would just, it's 100% communication. I would, I would sit down, I would communicate with them. And then sometimes I've had stuff where I followed, um, they had a clear direction, they had a clear vision. Um, even though I didn't 100% agree with them, I'm doing the, the task that they're asking me to do, right? So I, I went back to my desk, I continued doing the thing that they're asking me to do. And then in my spare time, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and build some of the pieces and the, the, the bits that I think that are going to make this better or fix that problem that I'm seeing in my mind. So I'm doing it on the back. I'm not saying anything. I'm not building anything up for it. I'm not posting it anywhere, or going behind anybody's back. But what I'm doing is I'm building a couple assets in the back, right? I'm just kind of building these things and I'm looking at it because maybe if I'm building it, I might see that it doesn't work or maybe i see that it does work right and i'm like okay well i just need to build these couple things and i need to do this little stuff here right and then when it comes down at the end of the project if the thing doesn't work out like if they if they're like oh no what are we going to do now you've already kind of taken the time to start addressing those things and you can save the project at the end you can go oh that that's why i was saying this earlier so here's this thing that i made um, do you think this is going to be a better solution? And most of the time that's going to work out because you've already went through all the, the, the troubleshooting of that thing. They've seen that you've put that effort in, but you've put it on the, on the back burner, right? You're doing the task that they asked you to do first. You're putting that together and then you step back and you go, okay, well maybe if we tweak it a little bit like this, or we make this like this, or we do the scene like this, or we light it, light it like this or whatever it is. Right. And you're just doing those little bit of tweaks on the back. So at the end, if something happens, you've already kind of troubleshooted a lot of that stuff. I know sometimes these projects don't allow us to have that time to troubleshoot. Um, so it kind of takes a little bit of effort on your side, you know, if you have some spare time to do that. Um, so for the most part, I would just make sure you follow when you're asked to follow. Um, but there are those times where you see things at the end of that project that you know, you know, because you've went through this so many times before that you're like, this is not going to work this time. This is not going to work. Let's fix it now. And then all I think it does is just you need to go in and just have respect for the people that are asking you to do stuff. Listen to what they had to say. Make sure that you guys are all on the same page. And then if if you're not, address that stuff right then so that way you can let them know, hey, this is what I'm thinking for this little stuff, these things, this scene, this whatever, and see what they had to say because maybe – just maybe they're going to look at it and go, man, I didn't even see it like that. That is a great idea. That's a great solution. Let's just go. Let's let's maybe change direction right now. So that way the whole scope of the project's better. Um, anyway, I hope that's a help. Um, let me know some of the situations that you guys have had. Um, see how you guys solve some of those problems where, where maybe you saw something that's going to happen at the end of the project that that you either didn't say anything and it blew the project up or or you did say something and it changed the project scope. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.